Hi, Tom Tillman here. Uh, it's November 26, uh, 2017, just after Thanksgiving. Uh, you see we're taking a hawthorn tree out. Anyway, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the John Deere 220R front loader that's mounted on the 2032R. So I've used this quite a bit so far. Um, things I don't like compared to my old New Holland front loader is uh, steel's a little thinner. Uh, the blade seems to not like rocks as much. Um, it uh, is sharp, but I think the angle on the New Holland was a little bit better for flipping those rocks up. I didn't want teeth on it because um, I want to be able to move some materials too. Uh, I do like the fact it still has a nice big hole there. I always keep my, la uh, my uh, shovel in there on uh, the old one, and that works well on this one, too. Uh, has the easy off, um, quick, de quick, quick disconnect, but I doubt I'd ever use that. I never had any interest in dropping it on my other one. I have forks that actually mount on the bucket, so I don't need to replace it with the forks. Um, it's got, I can't remember the pounds of, of uh, lift on it. It's not as much as my old New Holland, but um, it does a fairly good job. Um, I am going to weld on a hook here, a hook there, and I'm going to put a hook on the back as well, um, just for lifting light material straight up. Um, but about that's about the only modifications I'm going to make. Uh, I do like on the 2032 that the control is here. Um, obviously, there were some other models that uh, had it here that were a lot nicer, big one, but the lower models had it up here, and I just didn't like how that felt. Just personal preference. But otherwise, that's the load level indicator. Uh, I am a little concerned about the hydraulic tubes uh, not being protected. They were on my old one. Um, every once in a while, something would fall behind. Um, and it looks like would be a bear to replace one of those if it if it uh, pierces, but we'll see how it goes over time. But anyway, so far so good. All right, have a great day. Bye.